Athletic. Semi-finals. Look for the ball. Four seeded players fighting out for the title here at Players' Championship 24. What a way to sign off for the Pro Tour action for a few weeks ahead of the World Series down under. Now, That's none of the guys affordable. in action here in the final stages will be involved in the World Series. Is that a testament to the strength and depth of the world of darts right now? It's probably more of a testament to the fact that some of them already left for Australia and New Zealand. However, it's no surprise to see all of these guys in the latter stages of these tournaments. In the other half of the draw on the other streaming board, you can see the European champion Rob Cross taking on Chris Doby, who hasn't been great this year, but last year was absolutely brilliant and consistently brilliant. This year, we've got two of these stars of the year. Luke Humphreys, definitely so. Five titles to his name already, but Martin Schindler continues to make huge strides forward in his career. It is the German number two, but he is the best player from Germany in the world right now against the top seed Luke Humphreys, cool hand Luke, and Chris Murphy's alongside me to see who makes the final. Yeah, and Humphreys kept a cool head against Dimitri Vandenberg in the semi-final, streamed over on the other streaming board. It was a blitz from Vandenberg in the early exchanges, but Humphreys had some good finishes, including a 1-2-1 checkout on the bullseye. Kept himself in the game, and then went on to win the game. Treble 18, and the bull here would see him win the leg. Game shot. And he has won the leg. Well, the 1-2-1 in that one, and a 1-2-2 to start this one. Well, Luke Humphreys has played at a very good level today. In fact, they both have. They're both averaging between 97 45. and 98 for the day. Schindler has been hitting enormous amounts of 180s, as he tends to do nowadays. He's hit 19 already today. And they've both had one poor game in terms of the averages, which has dragged things down a little. We're not for their poor game where they've averaged in 60. the 80s. And they still won it, remember. Then they'd be averaging over a ton for the day. And that just reflects how consistently good they've been. 180. That is the 13th maximum for... Luke Humphreys today. Schindler had to survive a little bit of a scare in the, the semi-finals. Madras Razmar was looking like to snatch victory there. Missed, we think, two darts. A double could have been one, depending which route he went. It wasn't a streamed game. But Schindler took out a 106 finish in that last leg decider. Well, he's struggling to get to a finish here. Or struggling to get to a position where he gets a go at a finish because Luke Humphreys might be starting off with back-to-back -back four visit legs. Worries the wire. Game Pins shot. the double eight. It's a 12 data. Magnificent stuff from cool hand Luke. And back to back 180s in that leg as he breaks at the first available opportunity in this race to seven to reach the final. Humphreys the number one seed in this tournament but not a finalist yet. Hasn't played to seeding despite reaching a quarter final on the opening day. It was a disappointing day for him yesterday, being 45. dumped out in the first round by Karol Sedlacek. Didn't play poorly though, did he? He was just beaten by a good display from Sedlacek. Oh, this is really, really good from Luke Humphreys. Three 180s already in this one, and Martin Schindler must feel like he's caught in a whirlwind because he's just come out of a quarter final against Madders Rasma, which 60. took an age. And all of a sudden, he's gone from playing one of the most slow players on the tour to one of the quickest on the tour, who happens to be averaging 140 plus. Yeah, it's an absolutely incredible start from Humphreys. This 58. It is first to seven in the semis, so there's a little bit more breathing space. But it won't feel like it for Martin Schindler. Because that is three consecutive 12 dart legs. A 12 dart, 125 average. Well before the game, Martin Schindler, well, he hit more 180s than anybody today. 19. Seven more than Humphreys before the match started. That gap's been closed. 93. Three in the game for Luke Humphreys. <coughs> I mean, that 93, from what we've seen from him so far, is an awful score. Is this number 20? 108. It is, and he could put those through a polo mint. He does remind me nowadays, Martin Schindler, with the way that he constructs those 180 visits. It's like watching Simon Whitlock, the way he just group the shape of the darts, how he groups them together. He, you see, he could cram two more under that. He's not done it with his second dart. 
He's got a very short trip to the floor to retrieve his third. Yeah, Whitlock, who 100. Schindler actually beat en route today. The last 16 win against the Australian, 6-2. Before that, he'd seen off Ryan Joyce, Robert Owen 58. and Steve Beaton. Just to put himself in the picture. Well, he's not going to take it out in this visit, but he will return to try and clean up the remainder. Could have been a better place, though. One hundred. Well, there's pressure. Twenty for tops. To the left. Fifty-eight. Can't find it. It's his first start at double in this match. And Humphreys is about to throw it. He's sixth. Ninety-six. Almost snatched that leg and got past the halfway point. In yeah, the semi final, but Schindler stops the rots by finding double ten. Well, one of the big stories in the world of darts this year has been not the emergence 96. of Luke Humphreys, because look, he'd emerged, but the emergence of him as a title winner in senior darts. And with five titles to his name, four of them on the big Euro tour 100. stages, broadcast some of them on national TV in Germany and around Europe on the zone. He really has announced himself as one of the hottest properties in the game. But Martin Schindler did beat him earlier this year in their one meeting and beat him pretty convincingly. 140. And that was here in Barnsley. Players' Championship 6, a 6 2 success for Shindy, an average of around 103. 140. Humphreys does lead the overall head to head. 4 3. The majority of those meetings happened on the development tour. That's enough to get to a finish for Schindler, but Humphrey's already on one. Oh, tops. One, Ooh, four, shot. seven, the sexy way. Absolutely magnificent from Cool Hand Luke. Well, He's won four legs. They've all win one in 12 darts. Yeah, I'm not sure Martin Schindler knows what's hit him here. Like a wrecking ball to the wall. 95. Five legs in, averaging 134. 118, Luke Humphreys. And carries on at this rate, and he's in danger of threatening Josh 59. Rock's record for the year, the 121.88. The thing is, those kind of averages, we said it during the Josh Rock game because we thought you might break the world record. You have one little spell of a minute or two where you're off it, and that's it. You've got to be almost flawless for the game. Well, Luke's own personal 95. best is 115.62. That a floor match against Tony Martinez. And he's already missed 134. three darts at double in this game, Luke Humphries. It hasn't been... Know so close to perfect. Had a bit of an off, bit of an off leg, the one that Schindler won as well. Although he still got a chance to win it. One hundred. He might have needed another treble there, Martin. He will get a first crack at a finish, but where's Luke Humphreys going to be? Eighty-one. He's on a two darter. Oh, was that eighty-one? No, he's not a two darter. I beg your pardon. We might as well 92. be because the way that he's throwing, he's taking out whatever he leaves. <laughs> Not that way, he isn't. <laughs> he shakes yeah. his head. <laughs> Can't understand how he's missed. He's forgotten what it feels like. 79. Schindler has to be careful not to block tops. And hurl one over it. Then one between them into that red bit. Game shot. That's exactly what he does. Just keeps himself in contention. Two behind Luke Humphreys, who remains three away from the final. 140. Well, look, we've seen it before where players can be averaging in the 100 and teens. And you think, how how can you deal with this? It doesn't matter. You, you can lose a couple of legs by 300 points. 96. Just make sure you manage to keep on holding throw here and there. Stay within a break. 
you can ride out the storm 99. a little bit. Because it's unlikely, if they carry on averaging 115 all the way through the game, it's unlikely you're going to win it. But it's quite likely that they're going to drop off a bit. 97. <coughs> One hundred and eight. It might not, though. I mean, it wasn't quite this standard from Dimitri Vandenberg in the semi-final, but he was averaging around one hundred and nine for the first five or six legs in that match. And Humphreys did exactly what you said; he hung around, and then he got better towards the end of the game as Dimitri did decrease in standard. And just find a way to stay in the game. Forty-two. Get some legs. I think Damon Hatter pretty some absolute masterclasses in that, hanging around when somebody's going berserk at you and then striking. But Luke Humphreys doesn't seem to be in any mood to to let up. It's a 13 darter now for Luke Humphreys. Comparatively rubbish to his four previous 12 darters. It's a similar standard from Rob Cross in the other semi-final. 140. Four two up averaging 114. And you mentioned the emergence of... Luke Humphreys. Well, the real emergence was when he knocked out 60. the defending world champion Rob Cross at Ali Pali, wasn't it? Yeah, Ali Pali, a venue he absolutely loves. Made the quarterfinals 59. every single time, bar one, that he's gone there. And now he looks even better equipped when he'll go to Ali Pali at the end of the year. But who knows where he'll be in the world rankings? And he's already in the top 16. He could be going there as a top 10 player. Maybe one of the very, very favourites for the title. A lot of people were tipping him for the match play, although he didn't get past Nathan Aspinall 57. in round one. 57. 57. Well, this is just relentless. 180. An absolute avalanche of excellence from Luke Humphreys in this game. There you see five maximums to the one from Martin Schindler. 17 for the day now. For cool hand Luke. He took out this 1 2 1 against Dimitri Vandenberg. He's not going to do it in this leg. 53. And Schindler, keep on hanging around. Well, these are the shots that need to go when somebody's averaging in the 100 and teens against you. Oh, that's a great dart, that is. Great and that job. one's not too bad either. He really is sticking in there, Martin Schindler. Resilient display from the little German. But he's going to have to hope that Luke Humphreys just comes off the boil a little bit, surely. Well, that dart at the treble 20 was so good that I was starting to ponder whether he might go bull-bull. The first dart below it. 60. Again, he's got that sort of whitlocky knack of knowing how his darts behave. He did spend a little bit of time during lockdown changing his throw entirely to get them going flat in the board like Phil Taylor. And then he's gone back to this way of throwing. And he's playing better than he ever has. He's also got hidden talent for impressions. 85. Martin Schindler. Dig that out on social media video platform. I think Whitlock's one of them, in fact, that he mm. takes off in that video. How much of an impression can he make in this match? I mean, if he starts doing a Luke Humphrey's impression in terms of 97. how he's throwing the darts, then he might make a big one. Oh, Luke Humphrey's... Just not letting up, and it's going to be tops, tops, isn't it? Oh, difficult to squeeze another one in there. He didn't need to go that way, but when you're playing in this manner, then why not? Must feel brilliant. 59. So double 10 to move within one. Double five. Game shot. And he gets that for a 14 data. He's averaging 112.53 after nine legs of darts. Luke Humphreys in a semi-final after 103 days of darts here in Barnsley. Well, we've talked a lot about qualification for tournaments this week because there's a lot at stake. Grand Prix and European Championship, which will be determined in September. There's also the, the World Series final has got the qualifier tomorrow. But these guys, Luke's going to the World Grand Prix as one of the seeds. Schindler is already well in there. And you can see how, because they are capable of spectacular stuff. But even by Luke Humphrey's standards, this is special. 140. Well, 
We saw Schindler stick in with the 120 46. a couple of legs ago. And now it's 121 to hold his throw. Treble 17. Not going to find it, and Humphreys will have the opportunity to win a special performance in spectacular style. 70. Can't get it done. So Schindler again to get another leg. Splits. Oh, and drags that into the nine. And I think he knows the game is up. No score. The writing's on the wall. Double top. To cap off a top display. Right. And there it is. Luke Humphreys storms past Martin Schindler in the semi-finals with a 7-3 success and an average of 111. Absolutely spellbinding stuff from the number one seed who may well, up, well live up to that billing today. Incredible performance. A high checkout, 147. He hit the bull in the middle of that finish as well. Schindler credits him. He kept sticking around, including that 120 finish to stay in it. But Humphreys was just too hot. He's through to the final. Will he face Rob Cross or Chris Doby? You can find out if you switch over to Stream 2 now. And we'll see you again here on Stream 1 for the final.